Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jules. I like to read books, talk about books, share my thoughts with you about those books. But today, I'm doing a book tag. So this is the I'm So Annoyed book tag and I've got my notes here. So I was tagged by Sonia and her channel is Sonia with an I. So this book tag was actually created by Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading, but she got the inspiration for the book tag from Melinda at A Web of Stories. And I will link everybody's channels down in the description below so you can go check out their tags. So the I'm So Annoyed book tag has 10 questions. And um, I do get annoyed sometimes pretty easily. Sometimes I can go off on tangents about stuff. <laughs> but um, I don't know how much bookish related annoyance I will have. So let's find out. Question number one is, do publishers ever do things that you find annoying? Yes. <laughs> so uh, my biggest pet peeve is, which I am seen a lot of other people's this is their pet peeve too on or annoyance I guess you should say um, is making books different sizes so my recent vlog showed that I bought I'm collecting a series of Joanne Fluke books she's my favorite um, but I have over 20 of her books in the series and most of them are this size paperback which is a normal cozy size actually most cozies are this size but for some reason, three of the books I ordered came in this size. Even though the description said mass market paperback, there's dimensions, obviously. And if you don't pay attention to those dimensions, then you're getting the wrong size book. This is not the first time this has happened to me. So that is my biggest annoyance. Can we just keep the books the same dang size? Also, I would love if book series had the numbers on the side of the book. So I love to be able to just look at my shelves and be like, oh, I'm looking for book number four and I can just reach up here and pick, this is book number four. I know what it's gonna be. Also, I don't like if they change the feeling, the sheen or shininess of the book. So I'm collecting Joy and Flute books, like I said. These are the original ones. They're just like basic. I mean, they're glossy. I guess you can see that. But then they switch to this. <laughs> you see how much shine that has? That's great. I would love, I was already halfway, almost, not quite halfway through the series of collecting these before they switched over to these. So a lot of her books are this now, with the shininess instead of this. And it's hard when you're buying, unless you're physically there buying, because I buy most of mine used books, so I will buy them online or whatever. It's hard to know what you're going to get. So my collection has a combination of these. <laughs> um, also, in the series, like when you're, when you're collecting a series, if you have so many books that are all paperback and then all of a sudden you throw in the next book's a hardback book in the series. I cannot stand that. <laughs> so that is super annoying. Yeah, so if I'm collecting a series, I want them to all be the same. I don't want you to change it in the middle of it or to change like the, um, the art on the front of it. I know sometimes that may not always be, I don't know how much, I guess I've not really checked into this, but I don't know how much the author's say is in the art that goes on their book but like if you have a completely different style art and you switch that up in the middle of a series that is just a super turn off for me like I don't want to be collecting a series of books that has like you know this cutesy fun artwork on it and then all of a sudden you change it over to like a realistic type cover that has like people on it or something which I don't like books with people on it but that's that's just me <laughs> Anyway, so those are a lot of my frustrations with that. Was that a lot? Was that a, was that a lot of annoyance? I'm moving on. Question number two. Have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler? Even something as simple as someone else telling you there's a great twist? Uh, not really. Um, I don't mind. Like, I'm still going to read a book. Like, I don't mind if someone says, ooh, there's a twist in it. Okay, let's, what's the twist? When am I going to get to it? You know, it makes me want to read that book more, but 
I, I mean, don't tell me what the twist is because that'll just annoy me. <laughs> if I happen to like read a review and it mentions a spoiler, I mean, usually they say if it's going to have a spoiler or not. And sometimes I'll be reading those reviews regardless because like I don't mind. Um, sometimes like a movie, I don't want to watch a movie before I read the book because then I'm just like literally know what's gonna happen. I'm just kind of on the fence about that. It really just depends on what it is. If it's a thriller, like I don't tell me who the murderer is. Obviously I don't wanna know that. <laughs> Question number three, have you ever been annoyed by what you have discovered in a little free library, a book sale or a used bookstore? Uh, I, don't, I don't have very many little free libraries around me. So I actually have never been to one personally or put books in one because I, I I need to do that I need to I need to look it up and see if there's any in my area the most I could probably say is a used bookstore I don't like an overcrowded or messy bookstore like I like a good used bookstore that's you know organized <laughs> so there is a bookstore in, close to us it's probably like 10 or 15 minutes for me and it, it was all always overcrowded like tons and tons and tons of books but there was not really any organization to it it was just stacks of books like on the ground um so much so that I've been going to this bookstore since my daughter was like a toddler and we walked in and she starts like organizing the books and like putting them like they're just in messy piles and she starts stacking them in neat piles. I was like, you have OCD. <laughs> but um, it's gotten really bad. So we tried to go um, like a month or so ago and we both walked in and we just looked around. We looked at, we looked around and we looked at each other and I was like, nope, I can't. I was like, I can't do this. This is too much. It was literally like a hoarder situation. So I do not like that that does annoy me when you have if you got quit getting books if you have so many books that you have nowhere to put them just stop getting them the only other thing is like if i'm like shopping at a bookstore or something like get don't get close to me don't get out don't get in my space like i give people space like if you're looking in an area and you're reading it you know the back of the book or whatever that's fine now if you're going to be there for like an hour i'm going to get annoyed with you because just move like take some time, but then move along. But don't creep up on me. If you know you're, I'm looking at something that recently happened to me that was in one of my other vlogs. Like she was like right up on me and I'm like, bubble. Question number four. When it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there is a novella in the middle of the collection? Uh, no, but I don't usually read them. So it doesn't annoy me that they're in there, but I really don't, I don't read them. Like I want to read the books that I really don't care about. Like if there's like a a series and then they just throw in like a, a holiday novella or Christmas novella or whatever. I usually don't read them. Like, I, so it doesn't annoy me. Number five, deckled edges, beautiful or annoying. I personally have no books with deckled edges. I do, however, think because I recently just saw one, depending on the type of book, it can like enhance the beauty of the book or the experience of reading of the book. So for example, my daughter and I were at um, Half Price Books and I happened to see and I go, oh look, Spiderwick Chronicles. And then I pulled it out and it had the deckled edges. And I was like, ooh, I was like, that makes that look really cool. So if you've seen the movie or read the books, then you know that it kind of brings some of that adventure to the book. All of his notes all are written in these like journals. And so, yeah, I do like it for that reason. So depending on the book, I think it could be beautiful but a regular book absolutely not <laughs> like just a plain Jane fiction book no uh, question number six other people's annotations in a used book or library book annoying or are you okay with it uh, library book no uh, I can't even stand when I see a library book and it has like if someone accidentally or a kid it was one of the ones um, hmm, let me show you I'm back okay so this was a recent read that I read and I know you guys can't see this in the video. I'm going to put a couple, well, maybe you can't, you see all those lines going up and down it that some, somebody just took their pencil and was like, um, so that, that annoys me. So any marking of any kind in a library book is a no, no, like don't even hold a pen or a pencil when you're reading a library book, accidental markings. Don't, don't let it happen. <laughs> but, um, I don't personally annotate my books. Um, 
I don't know why, but I just, I just can't write in a book. Now, the most recent thing I have done is I highlighted in the Hunger Games books. That's my, I bought the series and those are my books. I'm going to, you know, highlight if I ever do get rid of them, then obviously someone will have highlighted copies, but, um, that's so far the most I am able to do. Like I can't find myself writing in a book. I can't even dog ear pages on a book. Like, I don't know why, but I just like my books to be nice. Although I do love reading a seasoned book as well. Like a lot of my Joanne Fluth books are all very seasoned and worn and even, even these, Leslie Meyer books like they're very the like, yellowed edges like point porter books I don't mind that depending on the type of book it is if it is like some type of a self-help book or a Christian book or something that maybe somebody's notes is going to help somebody else in the future like if it's a book on grief and then maybe you've gone through that journey in your life and you've given that book away but you annotated it and then somebody else comes up upon it and your words could affect them, like I 100% think that's fabulous. Number seven, if there's a series or a collection of certain kinds of books, like an imprint, and changes are made, are you annoyed or okay with it? Um, I guess I don't really know. Like if, if it's a, I guess I really, if I can't, if I can't say yes or no, then I'm going to have to go with no because I really don't know. Like, I don't think it would, like, if I'm collecting a series of books and then later I found out that they, like, misprinted something, but it, I, I probably wouldn't get annoyed if I had to replace it or just not replace it. Like, that doesn't bother me, I guess. Did I answer that question? Number eight. Do the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you? Share the book and what decisions you found annoying. Um, I mostly read fiction. I don't go into reading fiction books expecting them to make logical understanding decisions on things. <laughs> so it doesn't really annoy me. Now I will say, um, reading books. Okay. One book. I recently read Bared Souls and it was such a toxic relationship and she just kept yeah, going back to him. Oh, it's okay. And overlooking this and overlooking that. And that is so annoying to me. <laughs> so I don't love that trope, but that's my fault if I pick up a book like that. But I didn't know the book was going to be like that. However, like I said, it's fictional. I get it. If it was a real life thing, I'd be like, Number nine. Are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes their books? What do you find annoying? No, I don't care how you organize your books. You do you, boo. But if I came to your house and you had like unorganized, just piles of books everywhere and you had no clue what was going on, I might be a smidge annoyed, but then I also might offer to help you organize them. So, um, is, if they're on a shelf, I don't care. My shelves are about to be full and I'm about to have a stack. I had a stack of books over here on the floor for a while and I was like, this is too much. So that'd probably be the only thing. Other than that, I don't care. I don't care if you put them all the same color, if you rainbow them, if you do whatever. My books are pretty much by, um, genre. So it's just for me. Like I prefer, like if I want to read a cozy mystery, I want to go and know that I'm, this is the shelf I go to. If I want to read a a thriller this is the shelf I go to that's how I do mine and that may not be for you and that's okay number 10 share something bookish that you find annoying I do have a couple things I do not like when stores put stickers on their books like just don't do it because <laughs> then if the sticker's been on there for a really long time it is hard to get it off and it leaves a sticky residue or it rips when you try and pull it off, even if you heat it and try and take it off, it can, it can mess up your book. A few of my Goosebumps books, um, half price books, thrift books, they all put stickers on those and it annoys me. Even Barnes and Noble, like I don't want the Barnes and Noble exclusive sticker on it. I know that's their way of showing you that, that it's an exclusive, but I'm like, can we not just put those separately with a sign and then maybe put the other ones that aren't like next to it, maybe in piles. This is the exclusive editions. This is not, don't put a sticker on it. Just don't. <laughs> um, my other bookish thing that annoys me is, is when a synopsis gives too much information. Like 
I don't need, I'm the same way with movies too, like a movie trailer. I don't want you to show me all the good parts of the movie and then I watch the movie and I'm like, well, that's pretty much was it. So sometimes we're watching trailers and I'm like, oh, well, that's the whole movie. Like, just give me a teaser. That's what I need in a trailer, movie trailer and in a book. Like if the synopsis literally tells me too much information, I'm just, I already know too much and it doesn't make me want to read it. Like give me a little bit to get me intrigued, to pick up the book and read it and then we'll go from there. So those are the 10 questions of things bookish related that annoy me. And number 11 is to tag some people. Um, I don't really know who to tag. <laughs> So um, I'm just going to tag a few new booktubers that I have found. So I'm going to tag Wendy at Wendy's Inspired Reads, Leah Beth at Leah Beth Book Time, and Aubrey at Aubrey's Books and Coffee. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't, you don't have to. <laughs> or if you've already done it. I don't know. A lot of people are tagging a lot of people, so I don't know who's already done it and who hasn't done it. And it's just for fun. If you are seeing this video and you think this is something you want to do, tag your it. You can do it. I'm going to put a list of the questions in the description. And I will also, like I said, link everyone. Just make sure if you do the tag that you um, tag the original creators of the tag. So until my next video, friends, be yourself, be awesome, be kind. Bye.